What's up everybody, do I back at it again with another video on a game that I have not talked about in a bit. There have been quite a bit of people that have been asking me what's going on with this game, so I thought I'd give them a bit of an update. For those of you that don't know or maybe don't remember, the developers have gone a little bit quiet to actually work on their animations. And this is first person animations, not third person animations. Third person animations are actually going to be the same, it seems. Hopefully they'll make them look better sometime in the future, but yeah. So they're doing a full on animation overhaul for every single one of their weapons. I knew that this was going on, but I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it actually is like for a ten dollar game i'm actually surprised at how good these animations look unfortunately i'm not really able to show it off but what i can tell you is that they don't actually have animators they did a lot of outsourcing to freelance animators and i gotta say that they actually did a pretty good job aside from a couple of hiccups here and there that they could probably fix it before they actually launch it which i'm actually going to be able to show it off when december 16th comes around i believe not sure when the animation update is actually going to drop but at least they somewhat show it off in this little video here So that was some of the animations and I know it really wasn't much and it really isn't representative of everything that's going to be added into the game, but I'll be able to show off more of that on the 16th. I'll do a before and after video to really show the difference because it is kind of stunning. But yeah, one thing I do want to mention is that they are now adding an AK to the game. I mean, the AK was already in the game, but you weren't able to actually use it. The only people that were able to use it were the enemy AI, but now as a defender, I'm assuming you'll be able to use it. So that's pretty neat. I think I actually did see the enemy AI using a level action shotgun but i don't think we're actually getting that just yet but it's nice to see that the defending team is finally getting some variety than just a mac 10 and uh i think they called it a rattler the rattler yeah the rattler was pretty shit i remember but i think with the new animations it actually made it a little bit better but we'll see let's get into the mechanics here because there was actually quite a bit of stuff in here that i didn't know was actually going to be in this update the first one that we're going to be talking about is door kicking Now, I think that it's really cool that this is actually being added into the game, but that kick was a bit too fast, if you ask me. And his leg looked like it kind of bent right there, like it kind of like turned unnaturally. Like they need to make it so that in order for you to kick, it has to be like right in front of the door. And they should probably slow it down just a little because that kick was like instant. Like there was like no motion of him just getting ready and set up to kick open the door. Nah, just straight up. Bah! In fact, a lot of the animations that are actually in this video are kind of snappy if you think about it. But I've actually used the animations in the private test servers and they're not that fast so i'm guessing they're using like an older version but i mean if that's what it is then they should probably like slow it down just a tad because a lot of these animations seem to be a little fast and a little snappy like he's aiming and then he gets out of aiming and it just like snaps back to his side position you know but i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking it what are your thoughts but i mean it's kind of cool that there's actual kicking in the game it would really be a faster way to get into the room and also you could probably scare the defending team if they're not expecting it if all of a sudden it just opens up like that Another new mechanic is checking how much ammo is in your mag or how many mags you have left in the current weapon that you're using. You accomplish this by holding H and then the character model will proceed to pull out his mag and hold it up and then you'll see how much is actually there. You let go of H and he puts the mag back in the weapon. I think this is actually pretty cool. Although I'm not sure I like the idea of the little UI being on the mag, but I mean, it's not a big deal to be honest because it's not like it stays on the screen. So yeah, I think it's a really cool mechanic and it's actually a great way to tell how much ammo you actually have along with the amount of mags that are left but pushing on to the next mechanic we have So now with the shotgun, you are actually able to blow off door handles. So, I mean, this is a really cool mechanic, but I think my biggest issue with it is that there's no point to really do that. Like, unless they actually add a mechanic where you can lock doors, like maybe add keys to the levels that the players can find. And if they find the keys, now they're able to lock doors instead of just wedging them, you know, because you're just blowing off a door handle for no reason, because it's not locked. And even then, like, if you're going to do that, then you might as well add a mechanic where you can check this see if the door is locked or not i mean i don't know maybe they did add that mechanic too like they added a bunch of stuff that i didn't even know was actually going to be in this update so who knows maybe they already added a bunch of this stuff and i don't even know but yeah before i end the video there's a couple of things to note the first one that i'm going to talk about here is just the way that he threw that grenade i don't think i've actually seen that happen before because i mean before the way that you threw the grenade there's like a throwing motion with the gun in your hand and the grenade flings outwards so this time around he's actually using his left hand which is far better looking than the previous one and it actually does do a bit of a 
bounce off the wall there. And you can actually see the defending team member putting his arm over his face because the flash actually affected him. So, I mean, this game is coming along, I'll tell you that. Definitely looking better than the previous update. Uh, another thing of note is that the NVGs got updated. They no longer look like underwater goggles and actually look more like night vision goggles. And there's even a bit of an animation where you can see the uh, goggles come onto your face. So they definitely look better, but I have no idea if the third person animation actually shows the goggles coming down either. I kind of doubt it to be honest, but I mean in the video, the guy in front of him actually has his goggles down. I can hardly see it, but I think he does put it down. You could kind of see like his goggles are like above his helmet, but can't say for sure if he actually put it down or not. I'd have to actually check in game myself, but I don't have this build. I only have the animations build, but yeah. So yeah, that's all I really got to say about this uh, animation overhaul. Honestly, I wasn't expecting them to add a bunch of mechanics to this update either. I was only expecting the animations. And even then I wasn't actually expecting good animations. I was expecting like subpar, like, you know, the way that it looked in the game previously before this update, which I mean, the animations in the previous updates were not that great looking, to be honest. Like some of the guns actually had some of the same animations, like the Mac 10 animation was used for the Rattler reloads. Yeah, so definitely the animations look so good. It really sucks that I can't just show them off right now. I mean, I could because I'm not under NDA if I really wanted to, but I promised the developer that I wouldn't show anything until the 16th. So I'm going to probably do a before and after video on the 16th around there just to show you the difference because it really is stunning to be honest. You just need to work out a couple of kinks here and there. Like when I double tap to fast reload, like it starts the animation of going into the regular reload, but then it snaps to a fast reload when I put in that second tap. Like they need to extend the input there a little bit just so that it doesn't go to it right away. But overall, I quite like all the animations. If only they could do something about the third person animations and this game would actually be pretty good. So that's pretty much all I really got to say when it comes to Zero Hour. And that's pretty much where I'm going to end this video. So what are your thoughts? Would this compel you to try out the game again or maybe buy into it? Or maybe you're someone that doesn't think that this game should be tried. Maybe you dislike the game. Let me know. Tell me your thoughts on the comments down below. Then we'll get the hell up out of here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Zero Hour, then go ahead and like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. I cover quite a bit of tactical games or most shooters in general. Yeah. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.